Kujo. President, please be seated. Le Président. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. Before we proceed, the chamber would like to notify our parties to case 002. La chambre souhaite aviser toutes les parties au dossier 002. One judge of the bench, that is Judge Yutra. Le juge Yutra is not available and after my discussion with benches of the church we et après discussion entre les juges delegate the task to the reserve judge to money in place of s'attache au juge suppléant to money until he is available to resume his position disponible pour reprendre sa place au siège this decision is based on the internal rule 79.4 of the ECC internal decision rules. Application de la règle 79, 4 du règlement intérieur des CETC. Ms. Sarkoboti, could you report Madame the Magrifia. attendance of the parties and people un rapport sur la to the des proceeding parties. today? Sarkoboti. Good morning, Mr. President. All parties to the proceeding are present, except the accused Yunsari, who is present in a holding cell downstairs. As he requests to waive his direct presence in this courtroom, his letter of waiver has been submitted to the greffier and the reserve witness. After witness Sazeron, that is witness ECW3 will be present at 10 a.m. He already arrived at 10 a.m. yesterday. He had a prete sermon here. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, dit le président. President, the chamber has received a request by the accused in Syria dated 7 June 2012 through his defense counsel to have his direct presence in this courtroom and request to follow the proceedings in the holding cell downstairs to audiovisual means for the entire proceeding due to his health condition that he cannot sit for long in the courtroom. As requested by Ian Sari to waive his direct presence in the courtroom and to follow it instead through the audiovisual means in the room downstairs and that he is able to contact his Defense team. Le temporaire depuis laquelle le Sari peut communiquer avec ses conseils. La Chambre Yung fait droit à la demande de l'accusé Yang Sari par laquelle il renonce and that he can follow the proceedings à son droit de participer directement à l'audience et il demande à suivre les débats depuis la suite de son temporaire de ce through the entire day proceeding. The AV unit, you instructed to link the proceeding through audiovisual means to the room downstairs for the entire day proceeding. Good morning, Mr. Sarsaron. Bonjour, Monsieur Sarsaron. How do you feel today? Comment vous sentez-vous aujourd'hui? Is your health okay? I am not that well today. I would like to testify only for the morning session. President, thank you for the information. Merci pour ces renseignements. We can use this information as the base for our planning. All parties to the proceeding was were already informed 
yesterday, les parties ont été du moins informées hier uh, nice que les audiences d'aujourd'hui dans ce moment. Of this witness and the witness TC et les témoins TCW 323 et pour des raisons de santé aussi. So we will take alternative sessions between these two witnesses so that he is able to Nous allons donc Testified. faire le nécessaire pour que le témoin the puisse déposer. Now given to the to this La parole est maintenant à l'accusation. Merci, Mr. President. Good morning and Merci, good morning, Monsieur members of the bench. Bonjour, good morning, Mr. Mr. Salsaroun. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin Salsaroun. When we um, stopped yesterday, uh, we were talking about Uh, the trip uh, that you and Chun yeah. uh, took nous, nous where you flew to Phnom Penh le que uh, after Chun uh, Cam Poon, Phnom Penh après the, the member or deputy secretary Poon, of Sector 105, had killed uh, the sector secretary, secretary Lang. And we had talked about uh, a meeting that you had uh, with Paul Pot, Noon Chea, and Sao Sur, et, um, I'm sorry, Sun and Sun Sen uh, about uh, those events uh, and mm -hmm. in which you had were asked ce, to take over sujet, uh, from uh, playing as Sector Secretary. Vous avez demandé de prendre la place du When you were in Phnom Penh, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, did you visit uh, the location uh, where Lang and Kampun had died. Là où Lang et Kampun étaient morts. Ma response. Yes, I went to the location oui, je suis allé where they died. Oui, I bon. went there once. J'y suis allé une fois. And where, where was it? Um, where was it that this had happened? Et où cela s'est-il produit? Maison d'hôte où nous logions à Phnom Penh, mais je ne saurais où les gens du monde d'Olkiri logeaient à Phnom Penh, mais je ne saurais vous donner son adresse. What did you see uh, when Question. you went to the location where et Lang and Kampun had died? Et qu'avez-vous constaté à l'endroit où Lang et Kampun étaient morts? Response. Réponse. They show me a piece of iron bar from the de car part was used to beat up Talang. Pièce de véhicule qu'il avait utilisé pour battre Talang. Kampun shot to death. Et Kampun s'est suicidé. And I saw two bullet holes on the door. J'ai vu deux impacts de balles dans la porte de la voiture. When, uh, how, how long were you in Phnom Penh before you return, returned to Mandalkiri? Combien de temps avez-vous passé à Phnom Penh avant de rentrer au Mandalkiri? Je ne suis resté qu'une journée avant de rentrer au Mandalkiri. Et quand vous retournez, avez-vous you bring with you the ashes? Avez of Secretary Lang. Emportez avec vous les cendres du secrétaire Lang. Bad response. Yes. I réponse. brought along the ashes oui. to his relative so that they could conduct the religious ceremony for him. À sa famille pour qu'il puisse. Faire la cérémonie Who is it that had given you 
question. The ashes of lying bring back the Mandulkiri. Mandulkiri. Response. Those people who stationed in Phnom Penh gave me the ashes. Ceux qui étaient postés à Phnom Penh m'ont remis les cendres. Were you also given the ashes of Kampun, the person who had killed Lang? Les cendres de Kampun, celui qui avait tué Lang. Response. No. No. They did not give it to me. Only the ashes of Tar Lang was given to me. Tar Lang. Was it Pol Pot who, who gave you Lang's ashes? Is Pol Pot qui vous a remis les cendres? I only knew that the people who were on duty at the time Je gave me the ashes. Simplement que ceux qui étaient là à ce moment-là m'ont remis les cendres. To ask you a few more questions about the meeting that you had question. with Pol Pot, Noon Chea, and Son Sen while you were in Phnom Penh. Uh, given that uh, one member of the Sector 105 Committee, Kam Poon, had Quand just killed the Sector Secretary, did they ask you any questions about Kam Poon and why he may have killed Lang? Les raisons qui l'auraient poussé à tuer Lang. Response. Réponse. No, I was not asked any question. Non, on ne m'a pas posé de question là-dessus. Were they angry or were they question. concerned about the colère? loyalty of cadres in Mandulkiri region given what had just happened? La loyauté dans la région du Mandulkiri compte tenu des, de ce qui s'était produit. Response. Réponse. I did not know. Je ne savais pas. Now, when you flew question. to Phnom Penh, uh, to meet uh, with Quand the leaders, were you allowed to bring a gun or weapons with you on the plane? Le droit avec vous des armes? Response. Réponse. No, I did not have any. Non, je n'en avais pas. At this meeting Question. that you had with Pol Pot, Noon Chea, mm -hmm. And Son Sen, was Paul there Paul any Paul discussion Paul about how it was that Kam Poon had gotten a gun? Est-ce que l'on vous a demandé comment Kam Poon s'était procuré un, un pistolet? Response. Réponse. I did not know where he had the gun. Je ne sais pas Comme où il a had the gun. trouvé ce pistolet. Uh, at this meeting with Pol Pot, Noon Che, and Son Sen, did they ask you for Merci. your views Réunion. on whether Kam Poon was a traitor and whether there were other people who may have been working with him? Avez-vous discuté du fait que Kam Poon était un traître et si d'autres personnes pouvaient travailler avec lui? Response. No, he did not explain anything to me. Did they ask you anything about persons back in Mandulkiri who were related or connected to Kampun? Vous ont posé des questions sur des personnes en Mandulkiri qui étaient affiliées à Kampun. Response: No. Réponse: He did not ask me anything. Non, il ne m'a pas posé de matter. questions là-dessus. Mr. Witness, after the killing of Lang and your meeting Question, with Pol Pot, Moon Chea, and Son Sen, 
Were there arrests of cadres from the K-16 Commerce Office for which Kampoon had been responsible? De cadre de la section du commerce du bureau K-16 dont Kampoon était responsable? Response: No. Réponse: No. Mr. President, uh, I would like to read uh, at this time uh, and ask a question from uh, document E3 slash 367, which is the first interview of the witness by the co-investigating judges uh, at Khmer ERN 00251440. English ERN 00278697 and French ERN 00486013. And we put that up on the screen too with your permission. Le President, yes, during the interview, the President Assistant and the heavy unit, could you assist with the projection of this Assistant document unité on the screen as well? Afficher le document sur les écrans. Mr. Witness, uh, in your first interview uh, with the co-investigating judges, you made the following statement, quote, after the death of Talang, I knew that the commerce cadres were arrested. Was that a correct and truthful statement? Well, that is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. And did the arrests of the Question. commerce cadres Et that occurred after the death of Talang, did those arrests include Chun, que the sector commerce chairman, who had traveled with you to Phnom Penh after Kampoon had killed Lang. Mr. Witness, were you not directly informed by Pol Pot at one point that Chun had been called to Phnom Penh for re-education. Response. No, I was not told, although I know about the disappearance. On ne me l'a pas dit, mais j'étais au courant de la disparition. What do you know about the disappearance of Chun? Que saviez-vous de sa disparition? Response. Réponse. I did not know. Je ne savais pas. Mr. President, I would like at this time to ask the witness uh, about a excerpt from uh, what was his third interview with the co-investigating judges, which is document E3-384 at Khmer page 00345904. English page 00348. 373 and French ERN 00354 and we would like to put that on the screen as well with your permission. Yes, you may proceed.
Mr. Witness, in your uh, interview uh, with the co-investigating judges, you made the following statement, quote, I received a telegram directly from Pol Pot telling me that 10 days earlier, Chun had been called in for re-education and correction in Phnom Penh. Do you confirm uh, that this is an accurate statement, Mr. Salsaroon? Confirmez-vous qu'il s'agit là d'une déclaration véridique? Yes, the statement is accurate. Réponse oui, en effet, c'est vrai. He was called, although I did not Il a été know convoqué, about that. mais je ne le savais pas. Mr. President, uh, we have a uh, S-21 prisoner list entitled Names of Prisoners who entered on the 23rd of September 1977, uh, which is document D-175-3.1. Uh, uh, which records over 140 cadres from Montalpiri, Sector 105 and Division 920, who entered S-21 on the same day, the 23rd of November 1977, including uh, Pan Khan alias Chun, Chun, and at least 12 female cadres uh, from the K-16 Commerce Office in Montalpiri. Uh, I would like to uh, use this document with the witness simply to refresh his recollection rappeler, of the timing of these arrests quand, uh, uh, and the identity of the persons who were arrested from Montalcuri and sent to S21 following the death of Lang. La mort de Lang. So if I may proceed, uh, I will display the, we would like to display the document on the screen, si but I will simply ask afficher. questions to the witness uh, as to the questions. timing of when these arrests occurred, sur les dates if I may proceed. De ces arrestations. Response to press by the President, yes, you may proceed. Le President. Mr. Witness, we have a record from S21 that indicates uh, that on uh, the 23rd of November 1977, so late in the year of 1977, uh, Chun, uh, also known as Pan Khan, Con, the person who had traveled with you uh, to Phnom Penh to meet with the leaders there, entered S21. He is, uh, arrivé, uh, for the record, he is number 128 uh, on this list. As I just told the judges, Comme the list also juge, identifies 12 la liste female cadres from K-16, du the uh, sector, sector com commerce office du that we talked about yesterday, de K16, and that you told us that was under the control of Kampun. Uh, there are 12 female cadres who also entered S21 on the 23rd of November 1971, and also included on this list um, of the people arrested from Mondulkiri and sent to S21 uh, was the wife of former Konek District Secretary Spy, the person you told us yesterday who had shot your two in-laws. Uh, her name is Sikorn, alias Bohr Lee, and she's number 129 on that list. Now, given your testimony that Chun had accompanied you on your trip to Phnom Penh after the death of Lang, Donc, does this Refresh your recollection que le même Chun that the date on which Penh, Lang was killed and the mémoire, date of your and Chun's trip to Phnom Penh date de la mort de Lang was before the 23rd of November 1977. Response. Réponse. I did not know about that. 
je ne savais rien de ces arrestations. Je ne saisissais pas. Well, Mr. Sousaroon, is it possible your memory, it's been a long time, is it possible your memory of the exact dates is incorrect and that it was somewhat earlier uh, that uh, Lang was killed and you and Chu went to Phnom Penh? Phnom Penh. Is it possible that your memory of the dates may be incorrect? Response. Réponse. Lang died in 1978. Lang est mort en 1978. Et les autres, je pense que tout cela s'est produit en 1977. Mais je ne savais rien et je n'avais rien à voir avec l'arrestation de ces gens. The question I'd like to put to you, Mr. Witness, is who made the decision to arrest Chun and the other cadres from the Sector Commerce Office who were sent to S21 on the 23rd of November 1977. Was it you, the person who had just been put in charge of the sector by Pol Pot, or had you been told, did you receive an order from the leaders that people associated with Kam Poon were to be arrested and sent to S21? Can you tell us that? Matt Kilm at your day. I did not understand the situation. Je ne comprenais pas la situation. People disappeared and everybody was afraid. Tout le monde avait peur. Did you believe that Chun was a traitor who should be arrested? Que Chun était un traître et qu'il fallait l'arrêter. Réponse. Je ne comprenais pas la situation. Je ne savais pas s'il était un traître ou non. Connaissiez-vous ces femmes, le cadre qui travaillait à K16, le bureau du commerce du secteur Response. No, I did not know them at all. No, pas du tout. Did the Sector 105 chief have the authority to order that arrested persons in the sector be sent to Phnom Penh? Pouvoir d'arrêter des gens dans le secteur et de les envoyer à Phnom Penh. Response. Réponse. That I did not know. Je ne le savais pas. I was working at the district Donc level. Je I did not district. understand what uh, was going on at the sector Et level. Je ne comprenais pas ce qui se passait au niveau du secteur. Mr. President, Question. I would like to read now again from uh, the Monsieur first OCIJ interview lire un of the witness, which is E3 de la slash 367. Du témoin, il s'agit de plan E3-00-367, page 1, 451, en clair donc 0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0
Um, Mr. Witness, in your first statement to the investigating judges, you said, uh, made the following statement, quote, I knew that a number of detainees were transferred to Phnom Penh, but I did not know to which destinations, but it was ordered by Ankar via Tassan. Can you confirm uh, that this was a truthful statement? Response. I did not know the detail of where those people were sent to. Who were the detainees who had been transferred to Phnom Penh. Quelles personnes arrêtées ont été envoyées à Phnom Penh? But I Response. Réponse. That I did not know either Je because it was plus. the responsibility Car of the sector level. I did not know. Relevé du secteur. How did you become aware Question. that detainees had been transferred from Mandalkiri to Phnom Penh? Du Mandalkiri à Phnom Penh? At Réponse. I, I did not know as I je stated rien, earlier. Comme je déjà dit. Now, in your statement, Question. you said that the transfer was Dans ordered by Ankar via Tassan. Can you remind us who Tassan was? Vous souvenez-vous de qui était Tassan? But Réponse. Response. I did not know because I was Je responsible at the district level and I did not know what was going on at the sector district. level. I did not know who issued the order. Je ne savais pas qui donnait les ordres. The person you referred to here as Tassan, uh, Mr. Witness, was Ici, that vous parlez the, dep the secretary of the division 920? Was that who Tassan 920? was? Man. Yes, uh, that is correct. Oui. He was from the Vision 920. Il venait de la division 920. And this is the same person Question. that you told us yesterday la même personne uh, when uh, Pol Pot asked you to uh, take hier. charge of Sector 105. Vous this is the person Pol Pot that Pol Pot told you could 105. assist you in the sector. Is that right? C'était cette personne qui, d'après Pol Pot, pouvait vous prêter assistance, n'est-ce pas But, yes, that, that is correct. Oui. When he asked me to be in charge of sector 105, du secteur and I 105, testified yesterday that I did not hier, take uh, that position. Je n'ai pas accepté ces fonctions. When you came back to Mandalkiri after your meeting with Pol Pot, Mandalkiri and Son Sen, avec Pol Pot, et Son Sen, did you have a meeting with Tassan where he had a list avec Tassan of people from Mandalkiri sector who were to be arrested? Response, no. Non. Upon my return to Phnom Penh, I went straight to my hometown. Après mon retour de Phnom Penh, je suis allé directement dans mon village natal. Mr. President, uh, we Merci. would again like to read from the first uh, interview this witness du by the co-investigating judges, which is E3-367, e and the uh, ERN pages in this case are Khmer 00251-440. Through 251441, English ERN 00278697, and French ERN 00248.
0486-013. And we'd like to put that on the screen again. Nous voudrions à nouveau afficher cette page à l'écran. Le président. The president. Allez-y. You may proceed. Uh, there might have been some uh, translation error in the Khmer uh, channel because the document should be E3 slash 367. Le président, apparemment, il y a eu un problème correct, de traduction en Khmer car um, la page Mr. Witness, uh, in your statement to the co-investigating judges, uh, you said as follows. Tassan from Division 920 Tassan came to the meeting with Ta Supia and me. He personally moi. spoke about that arrest, for example, Il a parlé des the arrest of Net Ta. Exemple, de Net Tassan Ta. already held the list Tassan and I could not refuse. Can you confirm today? that this, the statement you made to the investigating judges was a truthful statement? La véracité de cette déclaration que vous avez faite. But, and then, réponse. Response. That is correct. That statement was truthful because it was the order vérité. from the upper level, so I uh, dare not resist. Et je pas osé opposer. When did this meeting Question. between you uh, the sector military chief, Tasopia, and Tassan take place. When was this meeting uh, in relation to the time that you returned uh, from uh, Mandalkiri from your uh, trip to Phnom Penh? Response, I cannot uh, recall the event. Je ne souviens pas. I have forgotten some of the events. Do you remember where it was that you Question. met with Ta, Sophia, and Tassan? Avez-vous rencontré Ta, Sophia, et Tassan? Est-ce que vous en souvenez? But a response. I cannot recall Réponse. exactly when uh, I met him. I have forgotten uh, this. Je ne me souviens pas exactement. Do you remember how many names were on the list Question. that Ta San had? How Combien many people were on that list? Sur la liste de Ta San? At the response. Réponse. That I did not know. It was up to people at the upper level. Cela relevait les champs supérieurs. And the person uh, that Question. you mentioned in your statement named Net Ta, Vous avez can you tell us who that was? Un certain Net Ta. Qui était-ce? Réponse. Response. I did not really know that Neta. Je ne connaissais pas vraiment ce Neta. Do you recall that Neta Question. was the had been the deputy chief of the economics unit under Kam Phun? de l'unité chargée de l'économie sous la direction de Kam Phun. Réponse. Response. I cannot recall because it was the internal arrangement uh, of the sector. I was only responsible for the district level. I'd now like to uh, uh, turn to a different subject. Uh, Mr. Witness, which is um, reports, uh, including telegrams des rapports, y compris uh, that des you sent uh, to Phnom Penh in 1978. En 78. And
Do you remember uh, in your interviews with the investigating judges Quand vous avez été being shown par les and asked about a number of telegrams uh, that you had sent to the leaders in Phnom Penh? And Phnom Penh et on vous a posé des questions à ce sujet. Est-ce que vous vous en souvenez Réponse. Yes, oui. yes, I recall them. Je m'en souviens. The uh, uh, first of those telegrams, le de ces um, telegrams Mr. Sasserun, which is document E3-248, slash E3 is dated the 1st of January, 1978. And I, I will get to that document in a bit. Je vais venir dans but un what I first wanted to ask you is, does that refresh your recollection that as of the 1st of January 1978, you were sending written reports or telegrams uh, to the leaders in Phnom Penh? Response. I cannot recall that because I uh, have forgotten uh, the events uh, ever since I fell sick once and I have become forgetful since then. Depuis ma maladie, j'ai des pertes de mémoire. Why don't we start with some general Question. questions about how you sent telegrams sur les uh, reporting on the sector, uh, the procedure uh, by which you did that. Uh, can you tell us, um, did you type the telegrams or did you handwrite them? How was it that the telegrams were prepared that were then sent to the leaders in Phnom Penh? Resp response. The telegram was drafted by others. Response. This telegram was drafted by others. Mr. President, if I can uh, make a reference, uh, read from uh, the Je third interview uh, by the investigating judges. Uh, of this witness, which is E3 slash 384 uh, at Khmer ERN 00345905, English ERN 00348374. and French ERN 00354. And we'd like to put that on the screen also. The President, you may proceed. Mr. Witness, in uh, the interview Monsieur with Thémoin, the investigating judges when you were being asked about one of these telegrams, which is Telegram 54, um, you were asked the following question. question did you write this telegram by hand or did you read it aloud for a typist to type? And your answer was, quote, I wrote it by hand and gave it to an encoder to put into numbers. Next, the encoder took it to a typist. Is this a correct statement of the process by which uh, the telegrams that you sent were prepared. Comme ça les telegrams que vous envoyez. The response, uh, that is correct. Oui. Where was the telegram office Question. in Mondalkiri sector? Où se trouvait le bureau des telegrams dans le Mondalkiri? Not, not 
response. The response. It was located in Office K17, attached to the sector. A K17, qui relevait du sector. And who were the people Question. at the telegram office who assisted you when you sent telegrams? Au bureau de telegram, qui vous aidait à envoyer des telegrams? Response. Response. I did not know them. I only knew one person who was the one who uh, encoded the number, and I did not know uh, those who worked there Je ne except pas uh, the les encoder. Qui How often Question. did you send reports à quelle or telegrams to the des leaders rapports, in des Phnom Penh? Aux dirigeants à Phnom Penh. Response. Réponse. It was not often. Pas I sent it uh, sometimes once a week or once every two weeks. Une fois par semaine ou toutes les deux semaines. And Mr. President, uh, we would again like to uh, à nouveau. submit question to the witness regarding a prior statement, Nous which is his, uh, from his second interview with the investigating judges, which is document E3 document E3 slash 383 at Khmer 00345913 English ERN 00350250. And French ERN 00 361 And again, we'd like to put that document on the screen. À nouveau, nous voudrions afficher ça à l'écran. Le président, allez-y. The president, you may proceed. Mr. Witness, in this. Uh, statements that you gave to the investigating judges, you said as follows, quote, I had said, to report daily, at least on rice production, jours, climate, production riz, and how much or how little had been planted, end of quote. Et Do you confirm that this is an accurate statement, Mr. Sausaroon? Là, une déclaration. The President, Qui est vrai. the International Defense Council for Nunchia, you may proceed. La de Thank you, uh, Mr. President, and uh, my apologies for interrupting. Désolé my objection uh, does not have Mon much to do with the actual subject matter of what we're discussing, but it's more the technique of asking questions based on the statements before the co-investigating judges. Um, the prosecutor um, has, in the past few questions, followed the line of reading of the statement before the co-investigating judges and then asking the witness whether that's a correct statement. Um, and I think that does not tell us much. The witness Je has already indicated in the beginning of his um, appearance here before you that his statements before uh, the investigating judges have been truthful. And I think it would be more useful to all the parties if the question would be phrased as, do you remember how this and this happened at the time, rather than just confirming the statement before the investigating judges, because I think that has very little added value. In this, on this particular chose. topic, it may not matter much, but this Sur will point, come back in the important. future. So it's, it's a, cette I guess, a request to the prosecutor to uh, phrase donc à his questions in a slightly de different way. De façon peu um, Mr. President, I appreciate the suggestion, but I would like to proceed in, in the manner um, that I have been, which is to first confirm that this is the statement is correct, and then I have been doing what counsel suggests, which is to follow up and ask the witness some further questions about that. I think that's an appropriate way to proceed.
question de suivi. Si vous m'autorisez, j'aimerais continuer à procéder comme je l'ai fait jusqu'ici. Le Président, prosecutor, vous pouvez continuer maintenant. Vous pouvez poursuivre. Mr. Salsaroon, the statement that you made to the co-investigating judges indicating that you sent telegrams or reports daily, is that correct? Does that refresh your recollection that during 1978 you sent daily telegrams to leaders of Phnom Penh? A response. Réponse. Uh, that is correct. C'est exact. I send it uh, sometime on daily basis. Parfois, j'envoie cela uh, chaque jour. Once every two days or once Parfois, every week. Parfois, tous so. les deux jours ou toutes les semaines. And when you sent question. Uh, telegrams, Quand vous envoyez des télégrammes uh, to, uh, to, uh, Phnom Penh, à Phnom Penh, whom did you address à the qui telegrams when you sent them? les adressiez-vous Je les adressais à Pol Pot. Do you, do you recall Question. also Sending telegrams that were addressed to Office 870. Envoyer des télégrammes adressés au bureau 870. Bad. Response. I cannot recall that. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Since I felt ill, and I have forgotten most of the events. Depuis ma maladie, j'ai oublié la plupart de ces événements. Did you receive responses to the telegrams that you sent to Phnom Penh? Au télégramme que vous envoyez à Phnom Penh. Bad. Réponse. Response. Yes. Oui. I received instruction, and the instruction was mainly on monitoring the farming work. Qui portait surtout sur la supervision du travail agricole. When you received Question. responses with instructions, who was it that would send those responses? Qui était la personne qui vous les envoyait? Response. Réponse. The instruction was given through the telegram. Les instructions figuraient dans un télégramme. Do you remember, Question. though, who it was, which persons sent you telegrams, Qui vous sent you instructions in response to the telegrams that you had sent? En réponse à ceux que vous aviez vous-même envoyé. Response that I did not know them. I only knew people who assisted me in the telegram office. Je ne connaissais pas ces gens. Je connais c'est simplement ceux qui m'ont envoyé le numéro du télégramme. Mr. President, I'd like to read from the same interview as the PV as I did before, which is E3383, and the ERN site for this. Excerpt is Khmer 00345912 English ERN 00350263 and French ERN 00361763. If we may proceed and put that on the screen. Le président, allez-y. Le président, vous pouvez procéder. Merci. Monsieur le témoin, 
your third interview with the investigating judges, Lors de votre you were asked the audition, question, did you ever receive any responding si telegrams? Who responded to those telegrams? Réponse, and the answer you gave was as follows, quote, the senders from M870 included Nunchea or Pol Pot. Sometimes they were addressed as M870. Sometimes they were from Pol Pot. And sometimes they were from Nunchea or Pol Pot. Do you confirm the accuracy of the statement today, Mr. Salsaroon? Response. Réponse. Yes, uh, I do. I confirm that these uh, statements oui. are Je accurate. Confirme la véracité de ces so the responses that you received Question. to your telegrams Donc, sometimes were from Pol Pot, sometimes from Nunchea, and sometimes from Nunchea, M870. Et parfois Is de that correct? M870. Est exact? But Réponse. Response. Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. And in the uh, statement I just read, you referred to Dans cette même déclaration, M870. Vous parlez uh, de can you tell M870. us what M870 was? C'était quoi, M870? <coughs> Response. I did not know people call it M870, but I did not M870. know what this office was all about. Mais I only knew that it was called je ne M870. Pas la nature de ce bureau. Je savais juste qu'on l'appelait M870. Well, I'd like to turn now to the uh, first telegram that je we're going to ask you about. Um, Mr. President, it is document E3 slash 248, E3 and it is a, a January 1st, 1978 Il telegram uh, from Saroon Il est uh, addressed par Saroon uh, to respected and beloved brothers of Office 870. Bien bien du and if we can put that on the screen. Um, I will uh, uh, proceed as we have been doing, which is to read je parts of it to the witness comme je fait and then ask questions about that. Que je vais lire un au témoin avant lui poser des questions à ce propos. Le président, the president, you may go ahead. L'accusation. Mr. Sassaroon, uh, in this telegram, uh, which bears your name, Saroon, and the date, uh, 1 January 1978, uh, and is uh, identified as telegram 47 at the top, uh, the telegram is addressed to respected and beloved brothers of Office 870. So, I would again like to ask you that when you addressed a telegram to Office 870, who did you understand that you were sending this telegram to? Response. Bureau 870. C'était le bureau de Pol Pot. Mr. President, I'd like to read uh, the answer the witness gave to this question again in his second OCIJ interview, which is E3 slash 383. And the uh, ERN sites are Et Khmer, ERN, ERN 00345912, English, ERN 00, 00 
President, yes, you may proceed. Mr. Witness, when you were asked about this telegram by the investigating judges, they asked the question, Telegram 47 addressed respected brother M870. What does that mean? And the answer you gave was as follows. M870 referred to the Central Committee that, as I remember, consisted of Pol Pot, Nunchea, Kusampan, Sansen, and Tamak. Do you confirm uh, that this was a truthful statement by you, Mr. Salzer? Response. Yes, the statement uh, oui. is truthful as I stated une before the call by getting judges. Dit la au juge Just so the record is clear, uh, my colleague has told me there may, may have been a mistranslation uh, that M870 may have been translated as M78. M78. Ah, M78. So I think just so the record is clear, uh, the question clair, refers to M870. La question fait référence uh, à M870. Am I correct, uh, Mr. Witness, that you understood uh, M870 to include uh, a group of leaders uh, from the Central Committee? Is that correct? Réponse. I could not grasp hold of this matter. Non, je ne saisissais pas bien cette question. Do, do you recall who was on the Central Committee as of 1978? Siégeait au Comité Central à partir de 1978. Mark, I did not know about this matter as it was the affair of the Echelon. Cela relevait de l'échelon supérieur et je n'en savais rien. The telegram that we're discussing, the January 1st, 1978 telegram, is identified at the top as telegram 47. Can you explain uh, to the chamber uh, what that numerical reference uh, meant, the, re the uh, uh, indication of a number after uh, of the telegram? Response. I had no knowledge about that. That Je was the rien. technical aspects of those who actually prepared and sent the telegram. Des gens qui euh, les qui de cela. Now, Mr. President, Monsieur I would like to uh, read from the witness's interview, which is E3 slash 383. Um, again, that's the second interview with the co-investigating judges. Émission at Khmer ERN 00345910 through 345911 and we'd like to put that on the screen. President, yes, you may proceed. 
Mr. Sasserun, in your <coughs> interview Monsieur with Sassoon. the investigating judges when Dans you were being asked about this telegram, le cadre de votre audition, vous you were asked the question, vous demandé, what was telegram 47 about? Que, que signifiait le telegram 47? And you responded as follows, answer, it was the numerical order a remark to numéros. be explained to the recipient, and it was also easy for us to refer to. Question, was the numeric order taken after a date or one number after another? And your answer was, the numbers ran from 1 to 100, for example. The number would return to 1, it would not go further than that. Do you confirm uh, the testimony that you gave to the investigating judges? Response. Yes, the statement that I made to the co-investigating judges oui. is accurate. J'ai dit la vérité. Et and is exact. it correct that when Question. telegrams were sent out, they would be exact numbered si sequentially up until the number 100, at which time it would start over again at number 1. Is that correct? correct? It's exact. Response. Yes, oui. that is correct. Est vrai. Now, turning back uh, to the January 1, 1978 telegram, Question. again, which is document E3 slash 248, I would like to read to you uh, the first paragraph of the telegram that you sent uh, to Office 870 on the 1st of January 1978. In that first paragraph, uh, you said as follows, quote, we would like to report nine Juan people fleeing from their country. According to their interrogations, they said the Juan had assigned them to come to spy inside Kampuchea and live with the Kampuchean people in order to grasp the Kampuchean people. Now we have swept them away. My first question is who had provided you uh, the information about the nine Juan people that you reported to Office 870 in this telegram. I did not understand that matter as I told the co-investigating judges. Réponse. Je ne comprenais pas cette question et c'est ce que j'ai dit au juge d'instruction. Did you receive reports from the sector military, question. which you then forwarded on ne to Office 870, Mr. Des Witness? Les autorités militaires du secteur que vous transfériez ensuite au bureau 870? Response. Again, I did not. Réponse. Grasp the situation. Une fois de plus, je oh, vous dirai que I je ne comprenais pas la situation. Sent the report, but it is not about the arrest of any Yun. Mais it was on ne parle pas d'arrestation de Yun. C'était des rapports que j'envoyais sur la production de riz et sur l'agriculture. Mr. President, I would again like to turn back uh, to the witnesses' interview with the co-investigating judges. Une fois de plus citer which is document E3 slash 383. And the excerpt I would like to read is from Khmer 00345912, English ERN 00350263, and French ERN 00361763. Except if we may proceed.
President, yes, you may proceed. Again, Mr. Witness, when you were being asked about this telegram by the investigating judges, uh, you provided the following testimony. Question. In Telegram 47, what was the situation of Krang Day and Dak Dam like at that time? And what was it like after that? Your answer. At that time, I received reports from the sector army. Thus, I was not much aware of the situation. Question. Which military units had to report about the situation? Answer. Sector military had the right to report only to the sector committee. As for the center divisions, they had to report directly to the center. Do you confirm that the statement you provided to the investigating judges is true? Yes, that is true. Oui, c'est exact. The military, the sector military reports to the Les sector, forces militaires du secteur et euh, faisaient rapport au the secteur. Center. Et les divisions du centre faisaient rapport au centre. So, do I un understand you correctly Question. that you yourself did not have any direct involvement vous pas de communication directe uh, about in the matter relating to Ou these nine one people? But the information had been reported to you by the sector military. Is that correct? Les, uh, militaires du secteur qui vous en avez fait rapport. Response. Réponse. Regarding the nine June people, I already said I was not involved. J'ai déjà dit que je n'avais rien à voir avec uh, ces neuf June. And I told the Co-investigating judges that I rejected my knowledge in this matter. Et j'ai dit au coup d'instruction que je n'y ai Who avoir su quoi. Was it from the sector military Question. that would report to you? Was it Ta Supia? Qui faisait rapport de, de, des forces militaires à, à vous? Était-ce Ta Supia? Yes, I received a various other reports, oui, but I did not receive any report regarding the arrest Mais of these nine à de de people. And I denied that uh, even when I was before Et the co-investigating judges. All right, Mr. President, I'd like to proceed to another telegram. And this telegram is document E3-1078. And it is a uh, telegram dated 9 April. 9 April 1978. From Saru. It is telegram number 46, and it is addressed to respected M870. And uh, with your permission, we'd like to put that on the screen and ask some questions to the witness. The President, yes, you may proceed. Uh, Mr. Salsarun, I'm going to ask you some questions now about another telegram. And uh, in order for me to ask you the questions, uh, I will first read for you uh, the telegram uh, that I'm going to be asking you about. Uh, it is a telegram to respected M870 that bears your name, Sarun. 
uh, and it is telegram number 46. And the first paragraph reads as follows. On the night of 7 April 1978, there was a fire which destroyed two boats, 52 tanks of gasoline, eight tanks of diesel, and a number of other tools. The cause of the fire was that the boat did not work. Upon arrival at Kampancham, our comrade requested another boat to tow the broken boat to Prek Prasad. Our comrade, who was the owner of the helping boat at Kampancham, went up to the village in order to find those who wanted to go down. There were three crew members on the boat. A crew member named Sang guarded on the head of the boat for fear that the people might use the lighter, causing ignition and two others named Eng Kat and Boon Sa were in the boat lighting a lamp. Meanwhile, the guard on the head of the boat warned them not to light the fire for fear of the ignition of gasoline. Suddenly, there was flame of the ignited gasoline. The man holding the lamp was also injured. Well, let me stop, stop there. Uh, this is in the middle of the telegram. Do you recall the incident uh, of, the, of the boat Vous uh, setting on fire? Uh, that is the subject of your telegram report. Le, Do you recall that incident? Telegram. Vous souvenez-vous de cet événement? Matt, I think you can jam. Yes, I recall it. Oh, man. Oui, je m'en souviens. Le bateau euh, a pris feu et a été détruit. Okay, I'd like to continue Question. on and read the rest of your telegram, telegram. Mr. Sassoon. The telegram continues as follows, quote, according to the sector's examination Selon and the report du of Comrade du Sang, du, du the two men had burned. Sang, the measures of the sector. One, Mesure arrest the two men. Il faut il faut two, ces deux deux, arrest contemptible lien. Il faut aussi le According to the lien. examination, Parce que there had been the assignment from lien. Lui qui avait donné Carry lien. out the arrest of these men today il faut ces on the 9th with the warmest revolutionary fraternity, fraternity revolutionary dated the 9th of April, 1978. The uh, telegram indicates that the sector had conducted an examination uh, of this matter. Uh, who was it that had conducted this, in, this examination? Response. I cannot recall that. Because none of the people on the boat was arrested. Was arrested. Aucun membre de l'équipage du bateau n'a été arrêté. When you wrote this telegram, sent this telegram to Office 870, 870 uh, indicating as me measures of the sector les to du arrest the two men. Arrêter les deux and to arrest the contemptible lien. Were you asking uh, the party leaders in Phnom Penh for their decision on how to proceed? Or were you informing them that you had already arrested these people? Response. No one was arrested. Personne the two arrêté. were not arrested Ces and they are still alive today. Ils sont en vie None of them had been arrested. Personne n'a été arrêté. Why did you send this telegram <coughs> to Office 870 uh, proposing measures related to the rest of these people. Mesures, what was your reason for sending this telegram to Office 870?
มาคือมีนกาคอยคานจังเลยเรียกับมันเตะมันบังจับไป j'ai fait ce rapport mais personne n'a été arrêté car l'équipement avait déjà été détruit il n'y avait aucun intérêt à arrêter les gens Mr. Witness, who who was it that had the authority to decide whether or not these people would be arrested? Was it you, or was it the people you were sending the telegram to at Office 870? But I mean the. I did not know who would have that authority. Je ne savais pas qui pouvait avoir cette autorité. Comme j'ai dit, personne n'a été arrêté. Ils sont tous encore en vie aujourd'hui. Did you receive a response? Question. To your telegram. Y a-t-il eu une réponse à ce télégramme? Avez-vous reçu une réponse de Phnom Penh? Évidemment, lorsqu'ils recevaient le télégramme, ils y répondaient. And who was it that responded to this telegram? Et qui a répondu à ce télégramme? Mad. Response. It was Mr. Paul Pot. C'était Paul Pot. And did he provide you instructions Question. on what to do Vous in relation to these people in his response? Dans sa réponse, sur la façon de traiter ces personnes. Response. Réponse. It seemed that there was no instruction. Il semblerait qu'il n'y ait pas eu d'instruction. Because those people who got burned. Car les personnes qui se sont brûlées n'ont jamais été arrêtées. Et comme les outils avaient déjà été détruits, il n'y a pas eu d'arrestation. Monsieur le Président, si je peux, à ce moment, lire un court excerpt de la deuxième interview de ce witness, E3-383. Ce excerpt est à Khmer 00345. 914 English ERN 00345954 and French ERN 00361765 if we may also put that on the screen s'il était possible de l'afficher à l'écran President yes you may proceed allez-y In your statement to the co-investigating judges, Mr. Witness, about this telegram and the response you received, you made the following statement, quote, Pol Pot instructed not to arrest them, and I myself received the telegram from Pol Pot. Pol Pot instructed me to tell these three men not to be worried, end of quote. Is this a correct statement, a truthful statement, Mr. Witness? Confirmez-vous la véracité de votre déclaration? Response. Yes, that statement is very truthful. C'est vrai. And is it correct then that in response to your telegram, you received an instruction from Pol Pot? As to what to do about these men, is that correct? Is that correct? Des mesures à prendre avec ces hommes. Est exact? Response: Yes, that is correct. C'est exact. Not dumb drama. I repeat: Yes, that is correct. Je le répète. C'est exact. Because the instruction from him was not to arrest these men. Les instructions étaient que l'on n'arrête pas ces gens. Uh, Mr. Salsaroon, um, 
We have an S21 prisoner list titled Sector 105, which is document D175-3.15. Which records that a Kang Lin, who was the assistant of Sector Commerce Office, was imprisoned at S21 as of the 10th of June 1978. We also have a statement from the brother of Kang Lin confirming that he had worked in the Sector Commerce Office and that he was arrested du following the boat fire Chun incident that après is the subject du of your report to Office 870. Is it possible that your memory of this incident possible, témoin, may be incorrect and soit, that in actuality, in response to your telegram, en fait, Ankar decided to arrest Lean and Lien to send him to S21. S21. Is it possible that your memory of this may be wrong? Kong Lin is still alive today. So I know about this person that you referred to. Je ne sais pas qui vous faites référence. We'd like to uh, turn now to uh, another telegram. Le procureur, which is citer un autre uh, E3 que l'on retrouve à la slash 156. Un, uh, and it is the uh, uh, a telegram uh, 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 from the 23rd of April 1978 uh, from Saroon uh, to respected brother. And uh, if we could uh, a display document E3 slash 156 on the screen and request permission to ask some questions of this document to the witness. The President, yes, you may proceed. Mr. Sassaroon, uh, this is a, uh, a telegram uh, with your name from the 23rd of April 1978. It has uh, uh, three paragraphs, uh, and I'd like to focus my questions on two of the paragraphs uh, in the telegram. It, it is identified at the top as telegram 54. And uh, in the uh, second paragraph, let me read the second paragraph of the telegram to you uh, before I ask you uh, some questions. Quote, Je cite le président. The President's uh, Defense Council, you may Maître, proceed. Uh, Thank you. Uh, good morning, Mr. President. Merci. Bonjour, um, Monsieur um, Monsieur. Maybe we can ask the question first, or maybe the prosecutor can ask this question. Uh, to authenticate the document first before we start reading le document excerpts of these uh, avant de commencer à en lire uh, des extraits. Mr. President, uh, perhaps Mr. Pressman wasn't here. Uh, uh, he may not realize that he uh, cannot see Mais the documents en fait, anymore. Uh, uh, he did, he still was able to see at the time of his interview, Au and he did de authenticate de the documents in his interview, so uh, il était, uh, fait, sa vue était that's why we have been proceeding this way. Nous avons procédé de cette façon. I'm sorry, I didn't realize Maître that. Pessman, je regrette, je n'en étais pas rendu compte. The President's the Prosecutor, you may continue. La parole est à l'accusation. The uh, second paragraph of the telegram 
uh, that you sent on the 23rd of April 1978 uh, reads as follows, quote, based on analysis, the division has agreed and wants to issue weapons to the sector forces to attack. Brother, what do you think? Please assist with your opinion because previously there were complicated elements in the sector and they were all disarmed. If Brother has any ideas, please report quickly. Do you recall uh, sending a, a request uh, for an opinion on whether or not weapons uh, could be provided si uh, to people in uh, the sector. Matt, I respond. Uh, I do recall because oui, je souviens. before that the arms were removed Car but then cela, uh, we requested that uh, they be rearmed. The President, thank you, Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Le Witness. The time is now appropriate for uh, adjournment. Le moment est venu de and the Chamber will adjourn now and resume uh, Les at 10 to 11. Court officer is instructed to uh, facilitate uh, the venue for the witness and his duty counsel to rest during the break and bring them back uh, before us pause. by 10 to 11. The court Et is now adjourned.